We reached the old Red Lion house about five in the afternoon of a wonderful August day. A little late in the season it was for the best fishing, but it was something to know that the black flies and mosquitoes would be thinned out, and that what fishing we did would lack this annoyance of the great north woods. It was good to leave the dusty CPR at the little lumbering village. It was solid comfort to shed the trappings of civilization and settle into serviceable woods togs. It was delicious to skim over Spider Lake in a steam yacht that ran by tea kettle power and breathe the spicy odors of the pines and psalms on shore, mingled with the reek of Old Skipper, Jack's oil can, and the blessed aroma of wood smoke. It was an experience never to be forgotten, that ten-mile ride in the rickety buckboard over hills of stumps and down dales of mud puddles. And here at last I climbed down and stretched the kinks out of my arms and legs, 